The U.S.-China relationship is always complicated. Any time in, in the history of the world when you've had two major economies, they always spar a bit. And now we thought for a while we had resolved a lot of that with our trade agreement. But now some people are blaming China for the COVID-19 problems around the world in the United States. Do you expect that the problems that will probably arise in the political campaign and so forth between the United States and China will impact your business? Well, it, it, I would say it's too early to tell, but I don't, we have not seen that so far. If you, if you look at our history with China, and we have a lot of history with China, uh, me in particular over the last uh, seven years or so, the, um, essentially what's happened is, although there's a lot of rhetoric and you know, political rhetoric, the, on the ground, you see a lot of cooperation at the, at the kind of technology ecosystem that, that we play in. So essentially, uh, Chinese partners, a lot of, a lot of big Chinese partners for us that are handset vendors, they have international businesses that we're helpful in, in establishing. We, along with Huawei, even though there's a lot of uh, rhetoric east-west, we actually participate in the international standards bodies to make sure that 5G happens and it happens across the world in a big way. So essentially, underneath all of the rhetoric, there's still a tremendous amount of cooperation and stability in the business.